welcome to Celestia Radio, all fandom, all the time. Oh, and me, we're here for each other through thick and thin. You're always welcome with your apple can. Whee! You're more fun than the color pink. Or balloons flying over your favorite drink. The love I feel here is swim, not sink. As we party across this land. Oh, yeah! We're apples forever. Apples together. We're family, but so much more. No matter what comes, we will face the weather. We're apples to the core. 
While having read many mystery novels, I know that the only way to discover the culprit is to investigate. Exactly! And as Chief Detective, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, you're investigating? Yes! And Twilight shall be my lowly assistant who asks silly questions with obvious answers. Fine, Pinky. Should we start looking for clues? Perfect silly question, my dear Twilight, because the obvious answer is... Yes? No, because I know who did it! <gasps> Pinky, how could you possibly know? How could I possibly not know? Clearly this dastardly deed was done by the baker, who knew their dessert could not measure up to the mastery of the marzipan mascarpone meringue madness! I guess you feared your eclairs lacked flair! Gustav! How are you now here? Huh. Guess that isn't a totally silly question. And second, the cake hasn't been sliced. It's been bitten. Just look at the teeth marks. Hmm, you're right, my fine fellow. Gustave Legrand is clearly in the clear, which means the mmm was destroyed by another baker. A baker whose donuts are do-nots. That's right. It was Joe! Whereas he's known in the spy world, Maine. Con Maine. System. And Joe is not sleek, stealthy con maid. He's big, gruff, and messy. Hey! Although, you would look rather dapper in a tuxedo. Oh, you may be right, lowly assistant. Maybe? Now that I'm taking a closer look at these desserts, I see that one simply cannot look me in the eye. Pinky, that moose is a moose. Yes, and the mule behind the moose panicked when she saw the mastery of the mmm. So you're saying that the culprit is... Mulia Mild! But then there's Mulia Mild's Moose Moose. Oh, 
Why, this mouth-wateringly marvelous moose moose tempts the taste buds with this silky, smooth, yummy, nummy chocolatiness. So why did this criminal devour the marzipan monster pomerang madness while leaving this trio of tasty treats untouched? the wild accusations and get to the truth. Every pony, go back to your cars while we do a little investigating. Okay, Pinky. In order to really solve this mystery, we're going to have to find clues. Now, you were here at the scene of the crime all night. <laughs> You're not accusing me, are you? No. But maybe you saw something that will help us. I saw a silhouette in the moonlight. Good. Let's retrace your steps. Then, I chased the culprit down the tree towards the caboose. But when I got there, he was gone. Hmm. Aha! Our first clue. I think I know who did it, Pinky. Already? Yes, but I need more evidence to confirm. Tell me what happened next. I heard some pony else in the dessert car and chased them up to the engine. But when I got there, all I saw was the conductor shoveling coal. The conductor, huh? <gasps> but that doesn't make any sense. What happened next, Pinky? Well, I went back to the dessert car. Yes? The curtains mysteriously closed all on their own. Interesting. Anything else? I heard hoofsteps, a loud thud, and then they were gone. When I opened the curtains, I saw that the portrait by the door was all crooked. Oh my, what is that? What next, Pinky? That's it. I was here guarding the cake the rest of the night. I mean... I slept by the cake the rest of the night. And when you woke up, half the cake was gone? Exactly. By Jove, I think I've got it. Call every pony back. We have a cake culprit to catch. <laughs> why are we all here again? I bet you're wondering why you're all here again. She's good. We have discovered the true culprit of this cake carnage. But how? Well, you see, when committing a crime, it's crucial that one never leaves behind clues, especially an obvious clue like this. Aha! Uh -huh, a blue feather! I knew it was you, Gustave Legrand! Pinky, Gustave doesn't have blue feathers. No, nope, because he's been dying them! No, Pinky. Remember how when you chased the suspect to the caboose, they suddenly disappeared? That's because they flew away. But the thief did leave a little something behind, didn't you, Rainbow Dash? I, I don't even like cake. So Rainbow Dash did it. Case solved. Case not solved. Because when we went to the engine, I saw the conductor's hat. And inside the hat was this. So it was you. That pink hair came from your rainbow-colored mane! I don't have pink in my mane, Pinky. So you're wearing a wig? Ow! Cut it out! Pinky, remember? You chased a pony to the engine, where you thought you saw the conductor shoveling coal. But that wasn't the conductor at all. It was... Fluttershy! <gasps> oh, my! You're going down, Fluttershy! Pinky! But then another clue confounded my suspicions. You were guarding the cake when the curtains mysteriously closed. But that's no mystery. That's magic. 
But when the thief tried to make their great escape, they left a little addition to the portrait. Has any pony else noticed that Rarity is wearing her hair rather differently today? <laughs> what? Is it a crime to change one's style now and again? Why, I think it's a crime not to. Really? Aren't I guilty? I wear both eyelashes. Oh, and I took a bite of the cake. So did I. Aw, oh, nuts. So did I. You just made it sound so delectable. So tasty. And boy, was it. I only meant to take a little ladylike bite. But it was so good. Yeah, I just dove right in. But I'm really, really sorry. Terribly sorry. Sorry, Pinky. That's okay. At least this mystery is finally solved. But it isn't. We figured out who ate the marzipan mascarpone meringue madness, but we still don't know who devoured the other baker's goods. You're right, Twilight. You know what we have to do? Well, yes, I do. Do you? Look for clues! <laughs> Well, Pinky, did you find the devourer of the desserts? I most certainly did. It was none other than... The Baker's! <gasps> First of all, Gustav has moose in his moustache! And Joe has a clair in his hair! Say, Bakers. Oh, I am so sorry, Mulia. But Pinky made your moose moose sound très magnifique. And Pinky's description of your eclairs really did make them sound scrumptious. And the way she spoke of your donutopia was too delectable to resist. Well, every pony, we finally have the mystery solved. Yes, but now we don't have any desserts to enter into the contest. I think we can fix that. Come on! Dear Princess Celestia, Today, I learned that it's not good to jump to conclusions. You have to find out all the facts before saying Sampony did something. If you don't, you could end up blaming Sampony for something they never did. This could hurt their feelings. And it can make you look really foolish. So from now on, I will always make sure to get all the facts. How's that for a lesson, Princess Celestia? Care for a bite? I don't mind if I do. Twilight, I am sure you are as excited as I am about the upcoming wedding in Canterlot. Wedding? I will be presiding over the ceremony, but would very much like you and your friends to help with the preparations for this wonderful occasion. Fluttershy, I would like you and your songbird choir to provide the music. Oh my goodness, what an honor. Pinkie Pie, I can think of no one more qualified than you to host the reception. <laughs> Applejack, you will be in charge of the catering for the reception. Well, color me, please, Des Punch. Rainbow Dash, I would very much appreciate it if you could perform a sonic rain boom as the bride and groom complete their I do's. Yes! Rarity, you will be responsible for designing the dresses for the bride and her bridesmaids. 
Princess Celestia wants me to make a bow, wedding dress, for a Canterlot wedding. <laughs> and as for you, Twilight, you will be playing the most important role of all, making sure that everything goes as planned. See you all very soon. Yours, Princess Celestia. But I don't understand. Who's getting married? Oh, wait. Uh, I was probably supposed to give you this one first. Princess Celestia cordially invites you to the wedding of Princess Miyamore Cadenza and... <gasps> My brother? My little pony, my little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friend? Your brother's getting married? Congratulations, Twilight. That's great news. Yeah, great news that I just got from a wedding invitation. Not from my brother, but from a piece of paper. Thanks a lot, Shining Armor. I mean, really, he couldn't tell me personally? Hey, Twilight, just thought you should know I'm making a really big decision that changes everything. Oh, never mind, you'll hear about it when you get the invitation. Princess Iyamore Cadenza? Who in the hoof is that? Oh, Twilight, are you okay? Sorry, it's just that Shining Armor and I have always been so close. He's my BBBFF. Big brother best friend forever? Oh! Before I came here and learned the importance of friendship, Shining Armor was the only pony I ever really accepted as a friend. PFFs. Pony friends forever. Oh! I want to tell you that I think your brother sounds like a real good guy. He is pretty special. I mean, they don't just let any pony be captain of the Royal Guard. So let me get this straight. We are helping out with the wedding of not only a princess, but a captain of the Royal Guard? I guess we are. <laughs> a sonic brain boom at a wedding? Can you say best wedding ever? Best wedding ever! So you all get to help with a big fancy wedding, but I'm the one who gets to host the bachelor party. I have just one question. What's a bachelor party? <laughs> <laughs> Why the long face, Sugar Q? I'm just thinking about Shining Armor. Ever since I moved to Ponyville, we've been seeing each other less and less. And now that he's starting a new family with this Princess Miyamore, what's her name? We'll probably never see each other. 
Come on now. You're his sister. He'll always make time for you. Couldn't seem to make time to tell me he was getting married. Precautions. Royal weddings do bring out the strangest ponies. <laughs> now let's get going. We've got work to do. And you've got a big brother to go congratulate. Yeah, congratulate. And then give him a piece of my mind. Twily! Oh, I missed you, kid. How was the train ride? I... How dare you not tell me in person that you were getting married? I'm your sister for Pony's sake. It's not my fault. Princess Celestia has requested a major increase in security. Didn't you see all the guards at the train station? Yeah, there's a big wedding coming up. Maybe you heard about it? It has nothing to do with the wedding. A threat has been made against Canterlot. We don't know who's responsible for it, but Princess Celestia asked that I help provide additional protection. This, you need to see. <sighs> the burden of keeping Canterlot safe and secure rests squarely on my shoulders. Staying focused on the task at hand has been my top priority. Okay, okay, I get it. You've got a really important job protecting all of Canterlot with a force field only you can conjure up. But still, how could you not tell me about something as big as your wedding? Am I not that important to you anymore? Hey, you're my little sister. Of course you're important to me. But I'd understand if... You didn't want to be my best mare now. You want me to be your best mare? Well, yeah. I'd be honored. But I'm still pretty ticked you're marrying some pony I don't even know. When did you even meet this Princess Miyamore Cadenza? Twily, Princess Miyamore Cadenza is Cadence, your old foal sitter. Cadence? As in the Cadence? As in the greatest foal sitter in all the history of foal sitters? <laughs> You tell me. She was your foal sitter. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Cadence is only the most amazing pony ever! She's beautiful, she's caring, she's kind. I am so lucky to have you as my foal sitter. I'm the one who's lucky, Twilight. <laughs> You're a princess. I'm just a regular old unicorn. You are anything but a regular old unicorn. Sunshine, sunshine, lady likes awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> I am going for a hope of cure, and you that is not. I am not going. I am. I, 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 I am. For three I have this no money. My girlfriend are all getting their hooves done, and you said, "Hello." Oh, sweetie. Oh. You just did that thing. How many unicorns can just spread love wherever they go? I only know of one. And you're marrying her. You're marrying Cadence. You're marrying Cadence. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence, sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. What are you doing? Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh huh. I've got to get back to my station, but Cadence will be checking in with all of you to see how things are going. I think I speak for both of us when I say we couldn't be more excited to have you here. Right, dear? Absolutely. Well, we'll let you get to it. Size apple fruity ever tasted? Hmm. Check. 
I do. Do you? I do. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Hi, Princess. Please call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Hi, Princess Miyamore Cadenza. You come to check out what's on the menu for your big day? I have. Delicious. I love, love, love them. <laughs> oh, shucks. Why don't you take a few to go? I know how you brides can be. So busy you forget to get a little something in your belly. <gasps> Did you see what she... Oh, you should have seen how she acted back there. I don't know when she changed, but she changed. Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Did I hear someone say my name? Your Highness, let me just start by saying what an honor it is to play a role in such a momentous occasion. <laughs> uh huh. Is my dress ready? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Um, I've been working on it ever since I was given the assignment, and I think you'll be pleased with the results. I was hoping for something with more beating and a longer train. Oh, yes, of course. And those should be a different color. I think they're lovely. Me too. I love them. Make them a different color. Gee, maybe her name should be Princess Demandy Pants. Okay, let me see. We've been over the game. If we were celebrating a six-year-old's birthday party. <gasps> Thank you! Rest, my sister. As always, I will guard the night. Bet I can guess what you're all thinking. Cadence is the absolute worst bride-to-be ever. Who, me? Spock, that goes on the cake. <laughs> Twilight, whatever are you talking about? Cadence is an absolute gem. Rarity, she was so demanding. But of course she was. Why shouldn't she expect the very best on her wedding day? Applejack, did you know that after she told you how much she just love, love, loved your hors d'oeuvres, she threw them in the trash? Oh, she was probably just trying to spare my feelings. No, she was just being fake and totally insincere. She did raise her voice at one of my birds during rehearsal. See? Rude! But he was singing really off-key. <coughs> Pinkie Pie, you had to have noticed how Cadence treated... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Rainbow Dash, you're with me, right? Sorry, Twy. Been too busy prepping for my sonic rain boom to pay much attention to the bride's bad attitude. <gasps> The princess is about to get married. I'm sure any negative behavior she might be displaying is simply the result of nerves. And I'm sure it's the result of her being an awful pony who doesn't deserve to even know Shining Armor, let alone marry him. Think maybe you're being just a tiny bit possessive of your brother? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not being possessive, and I am not taking it out on Cadence. You're all just too caught up in your wedding planning to notice that maybe there shouldn't even be a wedding. <laughs> Twily, your big brother's looking pretty good, don't you think? Huh, everything okay? We need to talk. I think you're making a big... <clears throat> oh, uh, hi, sweetie. She sure has a way of sneaking up on people. Could I speak to you for a moment, dear? Better see what she wants. Look, we need to talk. I'm here to talk. Sister. I mean, look, look, she's okay. Just listen to me. I'm okay? listening, I'm yes. listening. I thought I made it perfectly clear I didn't want you to wear that. This was my favorite uncle's. And? And I think I should wear it. Are you disagreeing with me? I guess I am. 
Oh, dear. Are you getting another one of your headaches? <sighs> Feeling better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She isn't just unpleasant and rude. She's downright evil. Uh, Twilight! Let her go. Huh. It seemed like she had something else she wanted to tell me. Who goes there? Stay indoors, Twilight Sparkle. Shining armor's in real trouble. You have to help. Oh, oh, one of my favorite thing in dresses. What are you? Can you believe it? We're gonna be Princess Mia Mori Cadenza's new bridesmaids. New bridesmaids? What happened to her old bridesmaids? She didn't say, but she did tell us that she would love, love, love it if we'd fill in for them. Seeing as we've been working so hard and everything. And you had your doubts about her. Told you she was an absolute gem. You sure this is what I should wear? <sighs> Doesn't seem all that aerodynamic. Mm, I'll see what I can do. Oh, this is so, so exciting. Oh, I know, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I really am on my own. Perfect, girls. No need to rush. Then, of course, Cadence will enter. I'll say a few words, and then we'll begin with the vows. Shining Armor, you'll get the ring from your best mare. Do you? I do! Hey, has any pony seen Twilight? I'm here. I'm not gonna stand next to her. And neither should you. I'm sorry. I I don't know why she's acting like this. Maybe we should just ignore her. You have to listen to me! Oh, goodness. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure about that? I've got something to say. She's evil! She's been horrible to my friends. She's obviously done something to her bridesmaids. And if that wasn't enough, I saw her put a spell on my brother that made his eyes go all... <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Because you're evil. <laughs> evil! And if I don't stop you, you're gonna ruin my brother's life! You want to know why my eyes went all... <sighs> because ever since I started having to perform my protection spell, I've been getting terrible migraines. Cadence hasn't been casting spells on me. She's been using her magic to heal me. And she decided to replace her bridesmaids because she found out the only reason they wanted to be in the wedding was so they could meet Canterlot royalty. And if she hasn't been on her best behavior with your friends, it's because with me being so busy, she's had to make all the decisions about the wedding. I was just trying to... She's completely stressed out because it's really important to her that our big day be perfect. Something that obviously wasn't important to you. <sighs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and comfort my bride. And you can forget about being my best mare. In fact, if I were you, I wouldn't show up to the wedding at all. Come on, y'all. Let's go check on the princess. I you have a lot to think about. Maybe I was being overprotective. I could have gained a sister, but instead, I just lost a brother. He was my big brother, best friend forever. And now we'll never do anything together. Sorry. You will be.
Princess Celestia cordially invites you to the wedding of Princess Miyamore Cadenza and... <gasps> my brother? Twily! Oh, I've missed you, kid. How dare you not tell me in person that you were getting married? A threat has been made against Canterlot. Princess Celestia asked that I help provide additional protection. But I'm still pretty ticked you're marrying some pony I don't even know. Princess Miyamore Cadenza is Cadence. Cadence is only the most amazing pony ever. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh-huh. And I think I should wear it. Are you disagreeing with me? <sighs> She's evil. I saw her put a spell on my brother that made his eyes go all... Cadence hasn't been casting spells on me. She's been using her magic to heal me. If I were you, I wouldn't show up to the wedding at all. I just lost a brother. I'm sorry. You will be. My little pony, my little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Hello? Is anyone there? Where am I? The caves beneath Canterlot, once home to greedy unicorns who wanted to claim the gems that could be found inside. And now, you're a prison. Help! Help! <laughs> it's no use. No one can hear you. And no one will ever think to look for you either. Most ponies have forgotten that these caves even exist, which is why they are the ideal place to keep the ones who try to interfere with my plans. <laughs> plans? What plans? The plans I have for your brother, of course. Don't you dare do anything to my brother, you... you monster! Only way to stop me is to catch me. <laughs> Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and, and do a little shake. shake. You remember me? Of course I do. How could I forget the filly I love to sit for the most? <laughs> we have to get out of here. We have to stop her. Find a way 
wait to save the day. Hope I'll be lying if I say I don't fear that I may lose him to one who wants to use him, not care for love and cherish him each day. Gentle Colts, we are gathered here today to witness the union of Princess Miyamore Cadenza and Shining Mind. Oh, we're never going to save him. We will. We just have to find... There! You're not going anywhere. Princess Cadence and Shining Armor, it is my great pleasure to pronounce you... Stop! Ugh. Why does she have to be so possessive of her brother? <laughs> Why does she have to ruin my special day? <laughs> because it's not your special day, it's mine. <gasps> what? But how did you escape my bridesmaids? I want it! <laughs> Clever, but you're still too late. I, I don't understand. How can there be two of them? She's a changeling. She takes the form of some pony you love and gains power by feeding off your love for them. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are, princess. And as queen of the changelings, it is up to me to find food for my subjects. Equestria has more love than any place I've ever encountered. My fellow changelings will be able to devour so much of it that we will gain more power than we have ever dreamed of. They'll never get the chance. Shining Armor's protection spell will keep them from ever even reaching us. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Isn't that right, dear? Mm-hmm. Ah, ah, ah. Don't want to go back to the caves now, do you? Ever since I took your place, I've been feeding off Shining Armor's love for you. Every moment he grows weaker, and so does his spell. Even now, my minions are chipping away at it. <laughs> he may not be my husband, but he is under my total control now. <gasps> and I'm sorry to say, unable to perform his duties as captain of the Royal Guard. Not my shining armor. Soon, my changeling army will break through. First, we take Canterlot, and then all of Equestria. No, you won't. You may have made it impossible for Shining Armor to perform his spell, but now that you have so foolishly revealed your true self, I can protect my subjects from you! Shining Armor's love for you is even stronger than I thought. Consuming it has made me even more powerful than Celestia! The elements of harmony. You must get to them and use their power to defeat the Queen. Ready! 
<laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. You were saying? You do realize the reception's been cancelled, don't you? Go! Feed! <laughs> it's funny, really. Twilight here was suspicious of my behavior all along. Too bad the rest of you were too caught up in your wedding planning to realize those suspicions were correct. <laughs> Sorry, Twa. We should have listened to you. It's not your fault. She fooled every pony. Mm, I did, didn't I? This day has been just perfect. The kind of day of which I've dreamed since I was small. Every pony I'll soon control. Every stallion, mare, and foal. Who says a girl can really have it all? <laughs> Quick! Go to him while you still have the chance. Roam 
my power is useless now. I don't have the strength to repel them. My love will give you strength. <laughs> what a lovely but absolutely ridiculous sentiment. together. why the Queen of the Changelings wanted to be with you, but how did you get someone as amazing as Cadence to marry you? I told her she wouldn't just be gaining a husband, she'd be getting a pretty great sister, too. Gentle Colts, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union of the real Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Princess Cadence is fine. Hmm. The union of Princess Cadence and Shining Armor. The strength of their commitment is clear. The power of their love undeniable. May we have the rings, please? I now pronounce you Mayor and Colt. <laughs> This is your victory as much as theirs. You persisted in the face of doubt, and your actions led to your being able to bring the real Princess Cadence back to us. Learning to trust your instincts is a valuable lesson to learn. Mwah. Rainbow Dash, that's your cue. <sighs> anything
Twilight. None of this would have been possible without you, little sis. Love you, Twilight. Love you too, BBBFF. Ready to go? Oh, almost forgot. was a great wedding. Oh, yeah? Just wait until you see what I have planned for the bachelor party. from Northern Equestria, uh, your highness. Yes? I am simply to tell you that it has returned. Find Prince's Cadence and Shining Armor. Yes, your highness. My dearest Twilight, you must come to Canterlot at once. Tons of fun! A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness 